This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Hunter Farm version 1.2. This map can be found over at modhub.us and there will be a link in the description below. This is set out to be an American style map and has a few added little details to it. I can tell you when you download the map you will need to unzip the file that you get and uh, let me go ahead and show you what you need to do with these files. So here I have 7-zip opened with the uh, the files in question. So we have the map itself. We have a DEF or a DEF um, additive mod that is included and then a little PDF here to give you a little bit of a description about the map, a little bit of a, um, I guess a little blurb about it, you know, kind of some background information, kind of set up as a little story. And here is the Facebook page of the group that created the map. If you want to go check them out, they'll leave a link in the description to that Facebook group also. There you go. With that, once you put the map and this def mod in your mod folder, then you're going to want to go ahead and activate that mod when you start a new save game. Here we are. We're going to go ahead and start a new save game. We're going to do this with new farmer mode. This up. This is the MKS32 def mod that you're going to need. Indra, all right. Pull up the log. Watch the map load up. All right, so there are a few slight texture errors. Show those off here. We've got can't load resource. We have trim.dss, and then we have a particle shader, and then we have the manure tank specular. Those are all just kind of texture issues. I don't think they're going to have game affecting problems with those. Go ahead and jump on in. And here we are. We start here at our farmhouse. It is somewhat removed from the farm itself. Take a look at the map. Now, see we start out by owning fields 6 and 7. Our farmhouse is here at the corner, and then the main farm area is over here in this general vicinity right here. Also have the little sheep farm, or little sheep area that's right across the street. See the animals are kind of spread out. We have pigs. We don't own the pigs. We have horses. We have cows already put into the map. You have a BGA, which is a uh, BGA is here we go. BGA is up here part of field three, five hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Forest over here. Field prices, we've got thirty five thousand dollars for field thirteen. We've got two hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars for fields twenty three and twenty four. Twenty thousand dollars for field 20. Then we have some unnamed areas or unnumbered areas down here. We'll have to take a look at and see what they are. So we've got some also some building plots down here. Put down some placeables. So we're going to check all of that out here when we start exploring the map. See, we have all our standard crops here on the map. We have four main cell points for most of our crops. You also on new farmer mode, start with some crops in the silo. Not a lot, but just some. We have a cell point for eggs and milk, are different cell points. Also have a cell point for cotton and wool. Uh, we have the sawmill for wood chips, and the barn will accept silage, hay, straw, and grass, as will the BGA once we purchase it. And blue chip feed also apparently will accept 
Oh, whatever this is. I don't know what this, what the V is. If that's hay or if that's straw. I kind of forget. But it will accept whatever that is. As far as starting equipment goes, we start with a decent amount of starting equipment. Uh, given, given, the, uh, given the number of fields that we start out with, we also start out with the MKS-32 DEF trailer. So according to that PDF, the DEF mod uh, that recently came out is built into the map. So we'll have, uh, you will have to basically refuel your tractors and vehicles that require DEF with it. So that's what you're going to need that trailer for, is basically to haul it from the shop back to the farm. Look, we do have contracts on the map. Transportation and harvest and, well, other field work contracts. So field 22, to give you a frame of reference, is 15.56 acres in size. Field 8 is 25.9 acres in size. Let's take a look at the map and see how big 22 and 8 are with respect to other areas. Here's 22. And here's field 8 over here. So it's fairly representative of the larger fields, those map, those field sizes. Let's take a look at our starting equipment. Start out with three tractors, Massey Ferguson 5613, John Deere 6250R, and the John Deere 7310R, range in horsepower from 130 to 352 horsepower. You have the Warrior Semi, as well as the RSM 161 Harvester and the New Holland TX32 Harvester. We've got the 2014 Lizard Pickup. To go with the Harvester, we have two grain headers as well as a Capella HS12 row crop header. Fairly big row crop header. We've got the KS950 Semi Trailer, Farm Tech TKD1600 Chipper. Got a plow and the coon cultivator, the large horse cedar, as well as the Tempo L16 planter. Have the coon fertilized spreader and the hardy sprayer. Have the side mower, the disc spine, as well as a wind rower. Got the Stratoman forage wagon to pick up the loose material, as well as a New Holland round baler to bail up that material. Got the deep PW210 in-game bale trailer, as well as a set of John Deere loader arms. Got a pallet fork. Here is that DEF trailer, the Ad Blue trailer. And then we have the large cow pasture, horse paddock, standard size pig enclosure, standard sheep enclosure, large grain bin, and a set of four uh, large silo extensions. Then we've got our sheds here on the farm. Here's our def storage that is already on the farm. And then our farmhouse. Quite a list of starting equipment. Take a look and see. We can buy additional def storage tanks here. The tank holds 10,000 liters. It costs $5 per day. And everything else is pretty much standard. As you can see. So what we're going to do is, I guess, kind of run down the street to the farm and just kind of explore that a little bit. Then we'll do a fly around and then we'll do a drive around. Let's take a stroll out here to the road before we start running. And let's take off. Oh, we're going the wrong way. There we go. See the field, the map is far from flat. We have nice rolling hills throughout the fields. Here we are, Hunter Farm, established 2019. So it's not a, uh, it's not an overly grand farm area here. It's just several buildings kind of back in off the main lane for vehicle storage. 
do like this building with the uh, the sunlight sunroof, the uh, the clear panels to get some natural sunlight in here. Got a customized trigger here. I believe this is our Add Blue trailer. Then we have our other semi trailer there. Old school hardware just sitting around, not being used. Additional buildings and sheds. Here we have our main farm silo and the silo extensions. I will say, if you open this map up in a new farmer mode, well, that's what we're playing in now. Uh, what I mean is, if you open this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, uh, the silos here will be gone. Lots of the buildings will still be here, other than the in-game D-sheds. Pretty much everything you saw, as far as buildings go, that were in garage are going to be missing. But the buildings that are not in the garage uh, will still be permanent map. Also, not have a farmhouse in new farmer mode or farm manager mode. But interesting enough, we have the equipment no matter what. Right here, we've got the ET sheds. It's all the bale trailer there. Other equipment. Now, this particular silo here will provide us bulk seed, fertilizer, and lime. Almond harvester and our small Massey Ferguson tractor. Plenty of space around here to also put down additional sheds, uh, should you so wish. Got a rake down there and our small trailer. And we kind of have here kind of a bale storage shed. Down here, then this is our def tank. This is where we're going to store our add blue or def, whichever way you want to talk about it. Trigger right here is where we add it to the tank, and then the small square trigger there is basically where we're going to pull it out and basically pump it in our tractors and trucks and such. Across the street here to uh, take a look at the sheep area. All of these areas, all of the animal areas are basically giants, giants areas. So don't need to talk about where, what trigger is because we all probably, probably have a good idea as to where all of the standard triggers are for all of the standard animal placeables. Yeah, we can go ahead ourselves a sheep. A collection equipment is over here. I like that we've got some an old corn crib here and some an old elevator frame conveyor, whatever you want to call it. That guys is pretty much the main farm. So let me get set up here for the flyover, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's take to the skies. Farm. Got some water, standing water over here in this field. So these two fields right here are the two fields that we own at the start. One here to our left and one here to our right. Head and just take off. See the map border over here. One thing that I did find interesting with this map border is that we've got a couple of different layers of, of border. We've got, of course, the trees here uh, that is really masking the actual edge of the playable area. Then off from that, we've got kind of this green area. That's various levels and various terrains and such. Then we have kind of two different um, appearing map boundary, flat map boundary areas. And depending on where you are on the map, to look at the map boundary, 
the trees are a different depth to you than the distant image. Uh, they both kind of move at different rates and give you that, that sensation of, of further depth. This kind of extends on in much, much further than it really does. Here we have the BGA. Two three-sided bunkers and plenty of area here for you to put down additional buildings or even additional silage bunkers. So wish. Forest and then the logging cell point, wood chip cell point and such. One of our cell points over here right by the map boundary. So this field, this field has got some serious undulation going on in it. The folks that don't like flat maps, well, here you go. This map is far from flat. It's not mountainy, but it is definitely hilly. Have some areas of standing water. Of course, if you've got problems with this, you don't like having water in the fields, you can always come in here with the landscape feature, raise that ground up a little bit, then you'll have to come through and use a plow to basically plow back, create fields on that area. Basically have that area raised up. Cell point there. Your animal area, I'm not really sure. Dairy. Definitely take a closer look as we explore the map. Here's some of those placeable areas we talked about. Definitely areas around the map where you could put down your own buildings. Uh, if playing this in multiplayer, there's areas that other farmers could have farmland. Did they so wish? Now we're kind of coming into the town. There we have our animal dealer. Have the vehicle shop. A cell point across the street from there. I believe we have the horse area. Cow farm. Some area where the cow farmer could put down their own buildings. If they so wish. Really like the undula. Oh, look at this field. This field has got trees all up in it. So whoever buys this field, they're going to have to uh, clear the trees out. So I really like the, the terrain. The way it just undulates up and down. Got uh, groves of trees in the middle of grass areas here. And if you want to have it cleared out, you're going to have to clear it out yourself. I like that idea. All right, so let's take our way up here to the um, to the shop, and that's where we'll buy our gator, and then just start not buy our gator, buy our Mahindra, then start doing our tour. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Mahindra here. You can see where the vehicles spawn in at. There we've got our customized repair and sell trigger in this building. Building's nicely done. Got some just static items scattered around. Got a trailer here that's being uh, worked on. And over here is that add blue pump. So it is embedded in the map. So you're going to definitely, if you forget to add that uh, MKS DEF trailer, well, you're going to be a little hard up on hauling DEF back to the main farm. And you're basically going to have to come over here whenever you need to fill it up 
and put it in your trucks and tractors. This part is not optional. This is embedded in Alright. Jump on in. Pull up the map. A little greater detail. And I guess what we'll do is we'll just start here in the media town area. And maybe work our way down to the blue chip feed. Make our way across to the milk and egg cell point. Gancy feed and then just make a loop around. Here we have the co-op farmer's grain elevator. One of our cell points for the crops. Spin back around again. Buck nuts. Looks like it must be a uh, restaurant of some sort. Some type of uh, some type of facility. That's a real place. I've never never heard of Bucknuts. Interesting signs here. I wonder if this is if these signs are missing that texture and that's why they're clear like this. Grand Heritage Hotel. Let's just turn around going the wrong direction. Seed and fertilizer sales is over here to our left. Right here at the uh, Hickory Home and Garden. Of oops, wrong buttons. Seed. Then it's going to be fertilizer. Animal dealer. Back. So we're going to have to go this lane here. Have to kind of loop around, get to the animal dealer. Lamont's Stockyard. And here we have buy points for what looks like slurry. Hay, straw, and grass and silage, looks like. Side. I suppose that the trigger here is at the chute. Animal chute. So let's just check that out. Yep, there we have our trigger here at the animal chutes. Make our way down here to the dairy. What looks like the dairy. Milk and egg sales, it says. Where we had several of those open placeable areas that we could put down buildings or heck you can always just plow it up with create fields and uh, and you know, do whatever you wanted with it sign here what's this sign say we buy eggs sell your fresh farm eggs here egg sell point and Milk. Be around the corner here. Is there a sign about the milk? 
around all the way around the back. Here is your milk trigger. And keeping with my quota for finding floaty bits, got a uh, floaty bit. Got that covered. Make our way across the southern part of the map and check out the well, at the fishing. Oh, what? <laughs> Watch that out. Blue chip feed. That's what we were going to go check out. This big industrial building doesn't seem to have anything listed showing up in the PDA. I'm wondering if maybe there's a trigger that's there that just we don't see because it's down toward the edge of the map. Come down here and just see if anything pops up. Definitely a trigger there for something. This. Wool and cotton. Okay, so we don't see the trigger when we have the map up. This is wool and cotton cell point. And then we have these fields over here that are unnamed and numbered. Okay, these are the ones that have trees growing in them. That makes sense. This is kind of like make your own make your own farmland here. It's like they're all planted in grass. These are the ones that have just random trees planted in them. You buy these here, you may have to do some uh, some cleanup work be able to make use of them. That makes that makes a little bit of sense as to why these random fields had trees in them. Kind of I guess unowned land because of, because of course the other the other unowned fields that are numbered uh, have contracts on them because they're owned by AI farmers. Whereas these down here that are un unnumbered, kind of just vacant. Nobody really seems to be owning those. Probably what the concept is. Blue chip feed. Jump through some high water. All are kind of overgrown. Here and check out the cow area. Since it's a standard farm sim 19 cow area, we're not going to really need to go into too much details as to what goes where. What we do have is plenty of open space here for whoever buys this cow area uh, to basically build out a farm around it. That's pretty neat. Pretty nice concept. Of not just putting a flat area there with nothing. Wanted to, you could you could clearly sell it, and then have a completely blank placeable area. Not, uh, then you can make use of it. Have the horse area, and I'm wondering if maybe the straw. No, the straw trigger is still there. What is this? This this is a cell point. Let's check this out. Yeah, so that is a cell point. Okay. I was thinking maybe he moved the straw trigger 
to be over at the barn, but that's not the case. The standard horse area, barn, there's a little bit of land here, not a lot of extra land. Kind of build out a horse farm and its horse farm. Funny Farm Gaming, that is the group that did the map. So we have the pig area. Standard Giants in-game pig area. We do have an easy shed over here. Storing whatever we want related to our pigs. This is. This is Hunter Farm established. Well, this is our. Oh, this is our farmhouse. <laughs> oh, I just hadn't seen it from this perspective <laughs> to recognize it. I'm like, what is this area? This is a nice little. This is a nice area. We don't need to go that way because we've already been that way. Basically, okay, so we have the biogas plant, the sawmill, and the Northwest grains. Take a look at. We do need to go down there and take a look at the Anzi feet also. Water pumping station. Is this going to be a water trigger? Check. It is indeed. Get our water from there. See what's going on here. <laughs> and then I just then I'm busy staring at something on the dash. <laughs> Not looking where I'm going. Alright, we've got our biogas plant here, our digestate, we have our digester, two large three sided Silage bunkers here. Put the trigger on that one. Trigger on this one. There you go. And plenty of spot over here to put down other things. Uh, with some of these production buildings now coming out as mods, this could maybe be set up as just your kind of industrial area. Farmer could run the BGA as their own um, their area. So they would have the ability to put down buildings and other such other such things that they need or you could just put down even more silage bunkers if you should decide that you need more than than those two lots of area lots of space kind of do whatever you wanted in that whole that whole spot Taking a look across the field and how everything is just undulating up and down. We have a sawmill. We have our log trigger right here by the log pond. Then we have our wood chip trigger here around the back at the uh, wood chip pile. Head on over here to the next cell point. This is uh, Northwest Grains. By this large forested area. It's like if we come in here. What was that? We have a large poplar field. Look at this. We've got a huge poplar field back here in this forest. How about that? 
So guys, if you want a uh, you want to exercise, you want to have a job in uh, monotony, bring your uh, bio baler back here, Anderson DLC, and just make a ton of bio bales. Poplar will regrow. So if you, uh, this is a gift that keeps on giving. Forge harvester with the poplar header and basically get an endless supply of wood chips. kind of cheat. We're just going to run down the side of the field here. Get to the one cell point that we kind of missed earlier. That is Yanzi Feed. Kind of look across the map at these, uh, again, at the elevation undulations. All right, Yanzi's feed. Got, looks like a, a buy point of some sort. So we can buy total mixed rations, pig food. Here. Pretty interesting. And then we can come over here, and then this is the cell point here at this area. So guys, there you go. We have Hunter Farm version 1.2. Yeah, you can find this map over at modhub.us. There will be a link in the description below. And we'll also put a link to the uh, Facebook page that uh, is basically representative of the group that put this map together. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Hunter Farm version 1.2? And until next time, Happy farming.